I don't ask people if they're saved anymore. Who isn't saved? From the White House to the jailhouse. <clears throat> I look a person in the eye and say, does Christ live in you? I was saved in... I didn't ask you that. I'm asking you, is Christ, does Christ live in you? Christianity is the only religion in the world where a man's God comes and lives inside of him. A Chinese scholar was given a copy of the New Testament. He'd read the Quran, he'd read the Vedas and all the sacred books. The man said to him, did you read the New Testament through? He said, I did. What's the most amazing thing? He thought the man would say the most amazing thing I read was that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. That he died and physically rose again from the dead. <clears throat> Instead of that, he said the most awesome thing is in Philippians chapter 2, or Ephesians chapter 2. It is? Yes. It says, In time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. And then at the end of that same chapter, it says, You are the habitation of God. He said, Sir, does your God live inside of you? If so, that's the most awesome thing I've read. And I've read the Quran, I've read the Vedas, I've read all those other sacred books. But I never read where a man's God comes and makes the man the habitation of God. I preached in a big church a few years back. I said, Martha, dearie, those trees at the entrance of the church are wonderful. Never seen trees like that in my life. I know what the leaves are, but look at all the little white flowers, white buds. Well, I got to church uh, a bit late one night. Well, I mean, late for me. I usually like to get there half an hour before time. And as I went in here with the boys, you know, while I draw this fleeting breath, <clears throat> and then sticking the cigarette stumps in the, in, the, in the trees outside. When I gave out my text, I said, Gentlemen, I'm going to preach this night. And I did on Romans 8. And while you're looking for it, get out your cigarettes and your matches. You can all smoke. <laughs> what? Deacons nudging each other. We knew this guy was a crank. <laughs> <clears throat> I said, Smoke. This building isn't the temple of God. This is the temple of God. You defile it till you got to the door of the church, defile it inside. Of course, if you start smoking, I'll tell you to stop. <clears throat> but I said, this is a temple. He doesn't dwell in temples made. He dwells in, in a habitation. What? Full of carnality? Full of jealousy? Full of pride? Full of anger? Full of secret lust? David says, restore unto me the joy. I mean, of pain. The bonds that you brought, this relationship that you severed, the only way that I can get my joy back is for God to come in full control. First, he has to cleanse the habitation in which he's going to live.